Hello everyone, this is Paul Maciel from MoBadar.com and today I want to teach you how to create an author box in WordPress. The reason we are creating this awesome feature is so that readers can get to know the writer of the post better. It is important for the readers to see the face behind the post so they know there's a legitimate author writing the article. Branding your post is crucial and I'm not talking about the name after the post. No, you want to create an about an author box. Okay. If you see on the screen, this is Mo Bedard's author box. You can have a description for your author box and also a name and links and all sorts of stuff, including a gravatar. A gravatar is an image that's based off your email that links from di several different blogs. Okay, now the first thing you want to do is log into your WordPress dashboard. From the left hand panel, you want to go over to appearance and under appearance you want to go into editor okay now that we're in the editor for your theme you want to go over to the right hand panel and go into main index template or index.php now this is for my theme several themes are different you might have to go into single.php which is a single post but for my theme I chose main index template now we will be pasting the code for my post at mobadar.com forward slash web design forward slash how to create an author box in WordPress. Now I already placed this code within my theme so I'll show give you a little example. We will be posting the code within index.php underneath post meta. So as you can see right here, here's my author box code and it's posted right behind post meta div. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my post at mobidar.com and you can see here is the author code. Now what we would do is we would copy this code, right click, copy, and then we would paste it right behind post meta. So here's post meta and we'd paste it right here. Okay, now that we got our actual author box within the post, which you see right here, we need to add some CSS to it to give it style, to give it the color of the background, to give it the color of the text, and the spacing and so forth. So what we would do now is we would highlight the code, which I labeled the CSS, highlight this code, right click, copy. Now we want to go into our style sheet. So I'm going to go into style.css, right here on the right hand panel. Okay, now that we're in the style sheet, this controls all the main functions of your website, like your, your different colors for your backgrounds, your image backgrounds, your spacing of the different columns, the placement of your different columns, and so on and so forth. So I already have it an author box installed within my theme, so I'm gonna go ahead and check it out. Now here's my author box right, right within style.css. And I modified mine a little bit more than the one you'll see in my posts. And if you're wondering why my code is so spaced out, I, I tend to space my code out a lot because I stare at code for around like anywhere from like 7 to 10 hours a day. So it really hurts my eyes. So it's better for me to space this out. Okay, now here's the author box code. And I posted that right under post meta. Now I'll show you what section I posted in within the CSS so it's nice and structured. Let me scroll on up here. Okay, I placed it underneath the content section of my style. So it's nice and organized next time if I want to come back and edit my author box and the colors or add a background to it. I know it's going to be in the content section. So I paste my code within my content section underneath post meta and press update file. Now if I go and look at my author box, it looks cool, you know, it's, it's really nice. Now let's say I wanted to change a color to the font, you know, I want to change the font to bright blue or something. Within my post, I posted some directions how to do this. Okay, this is this right here, the section says, change the, high, the red highlighted code if you wish to change the text color. So within this little section right here, it shows you exactly which code you need to change. So you can see the red highlighted, that's the code. If, if you want to go to blue, then you put the blue color code right here and right here. Now let's say you want to add a background image to your box. 
Now what you would do, you go down to this other section right below the change changing of the color. It says add the red highlighted code to the CSS if you want to add a background image to the author box. Now if you see this red highlighted code, this is what you would add to the author box section of the CSS. Now see you would place your uh, background image right here where it says your image.jpg and then update your CSS which would be right here. So you would add your code between this and this and then update your file and you have a background image for your author box. Now if you want to check it out more in depth I would suggest you go to mobadar.com forward slash web design forward slash how to create an author box in WordPress. Once again that's mobadar.com. Thank you very much.